Hello, good evening. Today, 15th April 2019, and uh, last Saturday, Record Store Day, the 10th uh, year of the Record Store Day was uh, last Saturday, and I went to a record store. Um, didn't have a list or something like that, but I was there in the Nijmegen and I thought, let's look if there's some records. So I got this bag, very nice, and um, as a gift, I got this uh, single from the Staat, went from Nijmegen, and I went to the record store in Nijmegen. So this uh, Kitty Kitty, it was in red or uh, blue vinyl, and I got it for free. So inner sleeve with the members of the band, same side, same picture. This is the nice blue vinyl, Kitty Kitty, the long version and the B-side is the instrumental version. So very nice to have. And uh, I was looking through the records, I wasn't early, and I saw this one, Gong, and I had a, bit, a little bit of doubt. I have a live album of Gong already, and I thought, what the hell, and I took it with me. It's a Record Store Day, of course, 2019 exclusive. Uh, I read that there are 1200 copies made of this one. As you see, there's a Obi on this side, and it says it has a green and a um, pink vinyl. So we'll see. It's a um, slide of the Better Clan at 1973, so very old. Uh, and, uh, How do you say it? Very old songs on it. Uh, it was uh, re uh, released in 1989. And this is the 2019 version. So, the Obi. With uh, some uh, songs on it. A lot of songs from Carmen. Camembert Electrolique in Flying Teapot. Uh, they made a lot of albums gong. And this is, I saw something here, Telezin. I don't know, I think it's from from Jilly Smith. Radio Gnome, Flying Teapot. So, front, gatefold the members of the band and the back side so let's see the vinyl put them out both so a lot of text and some photographs I know Gong, not so very long. Uh, they were in the Milky Way in Amsterdam and I saw that on, on, uh, on the videotape and I got interested in the band and now I'm having some records of them and this seemed to be a very nice one. So let's see what's in. In the sleeves, this is the green. Phase D, so I'm starting uh, the wrong. This is phase D. Of course the Better Clan rings some bells because of the terroristic terrorism that was there a few years ago. This is the pink version. Wow. Heavy heavy pink. Phase B. And the only side I heard was side A. And it's a very long version of dynamite. It starts very off very easily and then gets off. I like uh, the drummer, of course, Pierre Moulin. All the original members are here and uh, I will have to listen to it a lot to, to know it for better, some something better. So this was the record store day. I bought some other albums. Uh, 
um, album that I wanted to have for a long time. I have a lot of CDs from Arcade Fire. Is this album? I think it's the second one. Uh, I think maybe one of the best. Funeral. So let's open it up. Inner sleeve with some silver linings. I think this is the 2017 reissue. Maybe it's on the album. see which year it is I think 2017 side A so B I'm uh, curious how it sounds I know the numbers but I uh, know the songs but I'm curious about the quality of the album and the third one I bought in Nijmegen by Kruse is this album Leonard Cohen the last album I liked this, the first song very much, you want a darker, and I thought, well, let's buy it and let's see how the other songs are. I don't know much about Leonard Cohen, but I'm very curious about this album. Let's see if it can open, it's not a gatefold. Lyrics on the inner side, the other side, if you want a darker. This is the last album before he passed away. Side A, side B. Uh, then I went to another record store, the, I didn't buy anything, and then to the last, it's called the, the Vinyl Archive, it's a very big store with very, a lot of vinyl, and uh, there I bought first this CD, of course Mark Hollis passed away a few months or weeks ago, and um, I saw this one I think, I thought let's pick it up, very nice CD, Spirit of Eden. I don't know how it is with you, but when somebody passes away, it gets more attention for me, and then I start listening again to the music. And the last but not least is this album. It's from uh, Universal Total Orchestra, the Magus. Um, how do I get to know this band? Um, I, I watch the uh, side of, of the, the, the website from Proc Archives, and that was. The best Zul album was from this band, the last album, Mathematic Mother. And this one I saw in the record store, I thought, oh, let's pick it up. It's Zul music, uh, I like Magma, I have a lot of Magma stuff. Um, it's not music that you, t I like, uh, I um, um, like uh, straight away, it has to grow, the music, and that's what I like about this band. Um, so Zul, a lot of long titles, long music, long songs. This is the band from Italy. Let's see the, the vinyl. Some black vinyl, Black Widow Records. Nice label. This is site C and D. See songs from 15 minutes and 50 seconds, 13:23. So uh, four songs are above 10 minutes. Songs that you have to learn to like, I think. So this is the text. 
the lyrics from the songs. Some little Italian, some French, I think. Picture. And then the vinyl, last vinyl. Black Widow Records again. And then the side A and B. You see only two songs. There's some dust on it, I think. I have to put it away, to clean it. So, that were the albums that I bought uh, on Saturday, 13th of April. Uh, my text wasn't running also very good in English, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye bye.